Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the mini back in Modern Warfare 2. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 20 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Let's get straight into the attachments. Over on the stock, I'm going to be using the Markeev R7 stock. It adds crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed with the cons being recoil control. Over on the tuning, I'm going with negative 2.45 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 1.78 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Over on the rear grip, I'm going to be using the TrueTac grip to add sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, the cons being recoil control. The tuning I'm going with is negative 0.77 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.35 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed okay so i'm gonna quickly just go over why i use this i didn't really use it too much for the target flinch as you can see that is what the pros are and the cons are recoil control is mainly for whenever you go over in the tuning you can change the ammunition tuning for damage range and bullet velocity having target flinch just makes it a little bit better over on the barrel i'm going to be using the back nine 279 millimeter barrel as damage range hit fire accuracy and bullet velocity the cons being aiming down aim down side speed and hip recoil control the tuning i'm going to be going with is 0.37 pounds to the weight to add recoil steadiness and at 0.32 inches to the link to add damage range over on the laser i'm using the fss olev laser it adds aim down sight speed aiming stability and spread to fire speed the cons being laser visible in ads which is not really i really don't care too much about that but with that being said i mainly made this class setup for third person i guess you could say because that is what this gameplay is going to be. I wanted to change it up a little bit and play a different game mode. And I have been posting a lot of third person uh, games, just not separate from first person, obviously. I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. I absolutely went crazy with this gun. If you guys end up trying this class setup out and you like it, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have a better class setup for me to use, please let me know what that is down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Unfortunately, my mic was muted, but we're going to be using the mini box today. I did want to do something a little different and play uh, third person. Unfortunately, we did get TDM. But we're just going to see how this goes. I've already gotten a nuke and third person TDM once already. Hopefully, I can... Where is this guy? We're on a little five. This gun is super OP though. Regardless of what game mode you play, this gun is amazing. I do have a UAV, but I don't think I want to use it right now. Okay, he's just camping right there. That's amazing. Good thing I spawned right next to you. And now you're dead. Alright. There's a guy in here. What the heck?
What are you doing camping up here? Okay, I took that guy around, but just throw this down. <clears throat> Call the UAV in real quick. I'm just gonna try to get a whole bunch of kills. I get like 50 plus, then that's it's perfect. Oh no. What do you think you're doing, buddy? Not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. I'm pretty sure there's people over here. Maybe I lied. I have nothing to say to them. Like what? It, what are you doing ca camping? Oh my god. <clears throat> what is this guy doing? Alright, ten more kills. Five more kills. No teammates gonna kill all of them. Two more kills, I'm probably not gonna get one. There's one, one more. 61 kills. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, GG's.